Okay, now I gotta play with the screen again, because it's set for Super Metroid again. Oh, I wish this thing had presets. It'd make my life a whole lot easier. There we go. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Alright, yes. Nope. Nope. Yes. I think yes. This looks good. Uh, yes. It's time for me to stream again. I'm doing, by request, by people that don't appear to even be here, <laughs> Season Blood. I think I was tricked into this. I, I, yeah, I was totally tricked into this. Deceived. Fooled. I don't know. Why am I doing this again? I don't know. Anyways, yes. Let's see here. People that requested it. Evan. Who else requested it? Flitch. Jobs. Another person I can't think of. <laughs> they really wanted me to re restream this, so... Yeah, and... If, if any of you have been paying attention, Jobs actually played through Battle of Bloodline for the first time. It's been quite an adventure. <laughs> All the while, I was also playing on my own as well. Uh, he's clearly not doing Season Blood, because BOAB drew him out, drove him out the door. But, um... I said I was going to redo the whole series again. Best endings and all that. Assume I can remember how to do them. But, uh... Yeah, they apparently wanted to watch me suffer. Which, I don't know why you say that, because I don't usually suffer on these kind of games. Except if I have to read the story, which I'll probably have to read it again, because I'm streaming it now. On, like, my BOAB playthrough, which I just fast-forwarded through everything. But, um... And the bosses, but at least I know where the lens is. So, yeah. I guess one thing I want to do different is probably the dungeon order. Because in Season of Blood, you can do the first three levels, and... 5 through 7 in any order you want. So I'm probably going to do things differently this time. I'll probably do... I'll probably just shuffle them and do a different... I'll probably do Spree Shed first, and then do, like, Carried Away Under Bay, and then uh, the last one. And then the on the other side, I'll probably do... I think I did Icicle in first? I'd probably do that last now. I don't know yet. We'll see. I will shuffle everything around. So let's start Season Blood, second game in the series out of three. No, Fort Boyard is not in this game, it's in the next one. <laughs> oh boy. Now basically BOAB stuff. <laughs> A Democratic Republic. Elevenia, yes. That's Okay, next game in the series. Game 2. This one actually acts like Orwell's Seasons, because you can actually change the season, mostly. Kind of. So, exploration just got about two to four times more complicated. <laughs> Let me to play. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. I... I think I need to find a home tower, if I remember correctly. Lightning everywhere! Is it over here? No, apparently not. Well, it's somewhere around here. I will find it. I know the lens is somewhere around here, but I can't get that yet, because I need a sword. There it is. There's a hometown. I need to get over... Damn it. I need to get over there. Oh, wait. Hello. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, crap. Never mind. I'm not supposed to go there. I clearly forgot. Oh, uh, you don't know 
what you're thinking. <laughs> Interesting, maybe I'm supposed to go to the hotel now. I don't know. Oh hey, look, it's... it's him! <laughs> oh yeah, now I need to use that. Sweet. <laughs> So go back to the house, Mark. Now, oh yeah, that's the happy mask salesman. He's still alive, surprisingly. That's very interesting indeed. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yada. All right, so I think I need to go upstairs and go to bed. I, th I think I don't know. Maybe I'm, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Or up here. I don't know what I'm doing. Go away. Huh. Ah, probably I'm supposed to go to bed. I don't know. Huh. Oh, there we go. Now it works. I'll be going to Dark Nut area first. <laughs> I just have to work my way there because it's kind of hard. <laughs> huh. 
It's gonna be a bit of a walk. Because I know that Mount Dead End is confusing as all hell. And guess where I am? Mount Dead End! Yeah. So this is spring. Uh, this is the area where... This is actually where uh, level 4 used to be in the other game. All the way over here. <laughs> well, up there. It's changed a bit. I don't have a sword. I know it's supposed to be a pickaxe, and I... I gotta figure out where it is. I need a weapon. There's enemies everywhere. How long will it take me to get a sword? Who knows? Who cares? A lot of people apparently care. I don't know. I know it's somewhere over here ish. Uh, yes, it does work. Well, shift map for me. Remember, I don't use spacebar, I use shift, but yes, it does work. Thankfully. I know it doesn't work in BOAB. Oh, it might be a machete, actually. Oh, I gotta come back later. Okay, so it's a machete. I need... Yeah, no, you can't cut those flowers either. I need to find, I think, summer. In Mount Dead End, you can you can actually change all four seasons, which makes and Mount Dead End's already confusing. So, pretty much makes Mount Dead End four times as confusing <laughs> because it's four maps right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy, don't you think? Okay, I need to go. Good. I need to go to summer. I think where is summer? I think it's at the top. There's a season changer up here. That's the level 4 fairy, which doesn't heal you, which is sad. Ah, here we go. I think this is it. Yes. Ah, get off me, you stupid thing. Okay, this is not fair. Ah, <laughs> uh, it can. It's not... Yeah! <laughs> Like, I mean, enemy cha enemies are different as well. I mean, it depends. Like, I think summer, you run into more m bosses than no- Ow, God damn it! More enemies. And fall, I think, has a lot more like-likes and stuff like that. Okay, really? I need to get down there. And winter is winter. It's just frozen. I don't remember what spring and winter really have as far as enemy counts. But yeah, the type, yeah, summer it tends to be more enemy infested than normal. Oh, hey, cave. I need to get five rupees or five coins. Actually, it's not rupees, it's coins. But I don't have a sword to kill stuff and get head coins with yet. Oh, hey, this cave is open. I should focus on the sword though. I gotta get past these guys. Totally fair! Oh crap. Oh! <laughs> Not fair! Ugh, I have to get past those guys. Those big scary guys that shoot things at me. Getting the sword should be, sword should be the easy part. It's not. <laughs> Clearly it's not. It's, it's quite the opposite. Or the machete, I should say. Whatever. Just get over there, I'd be good to go. This junction is a pain in the ass to navigate because enemies are everywhere. Oh, I'm alive! Oh crap, I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's, it's vertical instead of horizontal. Ah, uh, screw you, P-hats. Yes! Please tell me I can get the machete now. There we go! <laughs> Thank god! Now, now I can actually defend myself! And I can actually go this way now, because they were blocked off earlier. Oh, I should get these bombs real quickly as well. 
I don't know if I can even carry bombs now. Yeah, this is a 2.10 quest, so I'm not sure. They're all 2.10. I just need three more coins. I'm gonna say rupees, or I'm gonna stutter for a second and then say coins right after that. Oh yeah, and BOAB, you needed a lot of money. A lot. This game it tended to give you a lot of money. A lot more than you ever need. You'll see what I mean if you haven't watched my earlier playthrough of it. <laughs> Come on, give me, give me one more coin, please. No, I gotta be, I gotta be current with the system. It's coins and a machete. Oh, don't worry, the next sword, the next sword's gonna be a pickaxe. <laughs> oh, so I can actually. Oh, God damn it! Give me, give me one. Oh wait, that rooted in it. No, that's just... you can't cut that because it's too hard. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go to that cave in a moment. I want to go... Oh, hey, damage drink on. How nice. Hey, yep, I can't carry bombs. Until now, I'll have four to start with. Now the question is, why I make it to a level today? Because there's a lot of exploration to do. I mean a lot. At least unlike the last game, there isn't a light world and a dark world. It's all one thing. You can go backwards. I don't think I can go over that. Can I? Oh yeah, I can go over that. Am I supposed to go over that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably not. Oh hey, crystals and sparkly things and... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I know at one season, if you go over that title, it goes to a black screen. And I'm playing the same quest file that I had before. Mostly because I couldn't find an updated file anywhere to download from. Yeah, Summer has more bosses than normal, so yeah, there's a manhandle here during Summer. Home tile, I don't want to go that way yet. <coughs> dark Nuts, too, or Dark Beetles, if you want to call them that, too. I'm on the bottom right. And yes, I will be going for the best ending. It's like, no, you should totally go for the bad ending. Well, if I go for the bad ending, I can't really do all the dungeons, because there's a lot of extra stuff. <laughs> if you want to see a second nightmare level, uh, I mean, a nightmare level, actually, I have to do the best ending. Which actually takes place here. <laughs> yes, there is a nightmare level in this game. <laughs> it's near the end. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember if I have to do something to those rocks, or I need to change the season for it. I do remember the nightmare for this game not being as bad and as weird as the last game. It's still a night uh, nightmare nonetheless! Oh. Uh, I don't want to kill him because I have, like, three hearts and bombs like are limited and all that stuff. I think I'll explore in this direction. So I need to find my way off the mountain because I'm not doing this level... Well, I mean, I can get stuff off the mountain anyways. But I'm not doing the level here till last. I'll be doing Spooky Shed first. And then Carried Away Under Bay, and then I'll do this one. <laughs> Whose name I always keep forgetting. <laughs> What's in here? Alright, over here we have... A boomerang. It, it changes every season, by the way. There's something different here. Every season. Oh, hey, more bombs. Not that I needed them. I think I have bad memory about that cave. I don't remember which season it involved, though. So I need to be more careful now, because I am really weak. I know where the blue tunic is, I know where the gold tunic is, I don't know where the red tunic is. I can't... I, did I even get the red tunic? Like, I know in my original playthrough, I did not get the red tunic. I went from blue to gold. So, I clearly missed something. <laughs> I should probably get the lens ASAP anyways, even though I don't even have magic yet. But it'd be nice to have, especially for bosses. Because 
While I like this series, I don't like custom bosses from the series. I don't really like the story, but that's beside the point. <laughs> There's a season changer on the right mister. I think that's fall. Ugh, there's so much to do and explore here and... Oh god, there's a Dodongo. Another Dodongo. Oh, a piece of heart. I think I need the... No, I don't need... can't use the candle. The candle... The candle in this game is ice! So that makes no sense, unless it kills the plant. By freezing it to death, I don't know. So what do you have to say? <laughs> the Wisp Robes have the first, well, one of the first three Tetrad Seals. And we're not doing that level yet, because I want to do things differently, like I've been saying a lot. Alright, so I need- ow! Crap, flowers, those flowers hurt you, by the way. As Jumps would call it, random damage combos, even though they're not really random. You can see them, you avoid them. Or if you have higher tunics and- oh god, Apatra. If you have higher tunics, run over them. Tank through them. But they're not random, you're just an idiot- uh, I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> I think I need something to get rid of that. I don't remember what. You can get, yeah, you get the better sword here in winter. Um, I don't know if- I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't get here in winter without some stuff, though. Maybe you can. Maybe I can get a better sword now if I wanted. I don't know. I would have to find a way to get here in winter. <laughs> Which is not the easiest thing in the world, I don't think. <laughs> I don't even know where there's a winter changer yet, either. <laughs> Probably should have try to find fall first. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm not used to not having a boomerang now. Then again, I just I played Child's Quest all growing up, so I should be used to not having a boomerang, because I did just fine without one forever. Well, that'd be that would be a fun game to see Jubs play through. Watch his head get turned over and fried by all the puzzles. That would be enjoyable to watch. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> Even though I doubt he'd listen to me because I'm a troll, but you know. I'm a terrible person, what am I saying? <clears throat> I should go to the autumn one now and see if I can't get any further with that one. Are you kidding? Sure it doesn't have the story, but oh my god, some of the puzzle solutions in that game are mind-turning. <laughs> that any, even makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, there are seriously some really, really good stuff there. Yes, Carfax is a husband. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have the insanity, but it does have the gut-wrenching puzzle difficulty that's going to probably turn him uh Okay, let's look at let's look at harder. Level 9. How long did it take me to do level 9? How many parts? I could have swore I went all the way to I. <laughs> the letter I in parts. <laughs> Which is what? Nine? <laughs> Those were long parts, too. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that level was long. And it was hard. What was it here? Oh yeah, it was this tile, which I'm going to cheat through because... Hey, cheating's fun. Uh, dark nuts are not fun, though. Or dark beetles. Yeah, there are like-likes. And bats! <laughs> and this is a one way. Unless I kill him, something might happen. We could try to do that. Although he kills me one hit right now, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> like I said, he kills me one hit right now. 
Okay, forget that. Uh, let's go to Autumn. Go our way down that mountain to that Autumn model over there. And if you don't know what the Autumn model I'm talking about is, it's that green diamond-shaped object on the map that I'm heading towards. I know that's an Autumn monolith. From memory, at least. Because you get lost here quite often, considering how complex this place is. Throw in the fact that there are four seasons here, and you've got a very confusing area. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go, Autumn. Where's this one? No, it's spring! I'm, I'm wrong! I lied! This is spring! Never mind, I'm wrong. I'm completely off. I have failed to realize that it's spring. Which means Autumn is over there, or one of those three, or I don't know. We'll find out over time. Oh crap, I can't go this way now because now it's spring. <laughs> well, I can explore up here in spring now. Huh? I didn't really do anything during the spring before because I didn't have a sword. So I guess I'm gonna split these into. Oh, this is all now. I'll split this into 45 minute parts like last time. Alright, I'm gonna cheat this again. Does this lose all in bad? Yep, black screen! <laughs> You're not supposed to go there! And yet, I do anyways. Okay, so now we're over here in spring. And there are no enemies right now. Spring is nice and peaceful, isn't it? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, enemies change. As you remember over here, there was a Manhandla. There isn't any more. Just a lot of rain and flowers that cannot be slashed. And the fact that I'm not going down there, too. Oh, hey! This is a magic shield! Yes, it's a little creature that blocks your shots. Surprise. Uh, yes. There's nothing to do here right now. <laughs> but there's nowhere else to go as far as like, oh wait, maybe one of these. There was a home symbol runner somewhere actually. Right there, yeah, that's my way out. Alright, let me go up this way then. Change to summer right now. Hey, it's this cave again. Let's see what's in here now. Aside from the potential pro obvious probability of pain and suffering. I can reach it. Yes, I can. I gotta remember those blue things are water, not objects. Oh, hey, more bombs. Well, now I have eight. Which is a nice number, which is like, you know, the usual default number. Which is a good thing, because I think there's a lot of bubble walls in this quest. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. Hey! Alright, so head down here. This cave's accessible, but I want to explore this area first in spring. If I can get here in winter, that'd be very nice. Because I'd like a better sword at the beginning. Especially if I'm going to spooky shit, because that place can be a pain in the butt. Especially with all those puddles that do all kinds of different stuff. Goron's over here now. Let's see what this... Oh, there's no piece of heart on top this time. Okay, so yeah. If I can get here in winter, that'd be awesome. I might need an item, I'm not sure. I have to, have to find winter first anyways, so... What does it matter, huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, there's nothing to do over here. <laughs> Maybe it was either fall or winter had something to do. I don't remember. Fairy, I don't even need. Why am I bother chasing it? <laughs> can we go in that cave I couldn't access earlier? Maybe then I can find like winter or fall. All right, what do we got over here? Is that? A, I think that's a bumble rock. Yes. Just like Lost Isle. Oh, speaking of that. This game has a very absurdly, stupidly hidden extra area that makes no sense to unlock. And if people remember, I actually had this ranked as number one type of Lost Isle for a stupidly, absurdly hard to find mini dungeon that's just absurd to find. Yeah, if that makes any sense. So yeah, this is this is the other game that had it. You people know that Lost Isle, the Master Dome in that game, yeah. How the fuck would you know to wand a wall? I mean, it's not even... That wall has like 100 rupees at a dead end. Why would you even think to check there in the first place? But wand it to open? No. In this game, I think you have to hammer to open something, which you can't even see. And I think there's also something at the end as well. I thought I saw something. No, the lens does not show it. The lens does not show it. Well, you can't be too hard on the authors because it's an optional item, but god damn it's an optional item probably wanted. <laughs> I know it's the neighbor's love in this game. <laughs> oh, someone's highlighting me. Why am I being highlighted? Uh X8, okay. Yeah, it's just X8. <laughs> it's not like Evan. <laughs> uh Yeah, we know, yada yada yada. Oh, don't want to fall off the mountain now. <laughs> hey, magic which is useless because I don't have magic. No, it was... I think you had to hammer a wall open or something. Something dumb like that. Oh crap, I gotta talk to you again. <laughs> yeah, I think you had to hammer a wall open to get there. It's somewhere on Mount Dead End, like on the left side of it. Oh, you had to do that. Granted, I don't have a hammer right now, so we're not doing that for a while. But yeah, it was something dumb like that. So I can't really choose which was worse. Hammering a wall open, or wanding a wall open. I guess hammering kind of makes sense. But wand... no. <laughs> makes no sense. Don't know what you were thinking, Dark Flame Wolf. What was this PDO's idea? You guys co-orchestrated this, so we don't ever, we'll probably never know. Oh hey, free money by the way. I don't think I can reach it though. No, you can't reach it. But hey, there's free money there by a trap by a Goretto and stuff and not that I really need it right now, but, uh, I mean, I could have a lot of money, but... There's money everywhere in this quest! Okay, I need to find my way, because I am clearly lost. <laughs> uh, I can't get over there. Crap. I need to find another little thingy. <laughs> ah, I hate spring! There's so much undestroyable flowers everywhere! Dogs drinking water. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back through here. Let me go this way instead. I like how peaceful these caves are in spring. I like, no enemies anywhere. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think this is where one of the levels are. The one I'm, that I've chosen to do last, and... Oh, there goes IRC being stupid. I'm being pinged by someone I don't know. <laughs> No, it's EL. X8. Alright. Alright, so let me work my way through here. 
There's gotta be an obelisk somewhere around here-ish, I think, maybe? Maybe not. If I could find Winter I could and get back to that shop, I could get a pickaxe, which would be nice! It'd be nice to have! Especially since I'm not- my first level I'm doing is not up here. I wanna go up here, I guess? Oh yeah, it's the first level. Uh, well, one of the levels. So yes, this is one of the levels. I think yeah, I'm pretty sure to come back in winter to actually do it. But I'm uh, like I said, I'm doing that level last because on my first playthrough I did it first because it's well on the same amount you start on. Um. So yeah. Oh, this is autumn right here. Get me out of spring. All right, I cannot go that way. There's a lot of holes. There's a lot of like likes in autumn, which I gotta be careful, as I have a magic shield and I don't want. Oh yeah, there's a lot of ghosts too. <sighs> Gear. Don't wanna go that way. Holes everywhere, leaves everywhere, guineas everywhere. That's a shiny rock. I don't know what to do with it yet. I don't want to lose my shield. Even though they're cheap in this game, losing a shield sucks anyways. So do like likes! Uh, that's a hole. Uh... Oh yeah, this is the level again. Yet again, you cannot go to the level now, because it's not winter. Sealed off. Yes. I guess I'm not doing that right now, though, so whatever. Make progress on them. Try to find winter. Or find my way off this dreaded mountain. That could also be a good thing, too. Because I need to find my way to Darknut Forest. <laughs> Thankfully, most of the geography is the same from the last game, so it's not too complicated, but still. Yeah. Well, you'll be seeing the first level last. Well, last of the first three, at least, so. Spooky Shed's a very. I actually like Spooky Shed a lot. I didn't like the first level too much because it was confusing and icy. But I did like the second level because it was creative. It had, like, you know, instant death pits, painful things, health refilling, slippery, all sorts of fun stuff to mull you over for a while. And thankfully, because I'm playing on 2.5, I won't have to worry about the conveyor belt issue. What do you got over here? I think winter's down here, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Eee! Don't run into me! No, you can do level 1, 2, and 3 in any order you want. You do not need those items. If here's winter. Um, one thing you can't- you do need to know, however, is... There are comeback items like- Ow! Heart pieces and stuff like that. If you get to bring the other items from the other dungeon, so yeah. There's that. There's nothing I can do in this season. <laughs> so much snow everywhere. Can I get over there? If I can get back to my home area in winter, that would be nice. <laughs> So I can try to get that pickaxe, unless it costs like 255, which case I need to grind. Okay, now there's now keys in here, and there's ice as well. Huh. Guys that drop magic, which I don't have magic yet, so it doesn't really matter. Like I can't remember when I can get the pickaxe, but I kind of want it because you know it's better than a machete. 
I just have to work my way to the shop. Which is not very close to here. And F6 will take me back to the mini list, so... That won't do me any good. Oh, what's over here? Oh, it's frozen over. <laughs> Whatever's over there, I can't get over to it because it's frozen! What's over here, then? I am over here in the middle-ish area. I'm below where I need to be. Crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me go back. Let me go back over there. I want to I wanna get over there. If humanly possible. Also, should try to find the lens too, soon too. Even though you don't need the lens as much as you did in the past game, it's just nice to have for bosses. Cause, sorry, Cascades, but your custom bosses suck. Just saying. <laughs> uh, go up here. around here real quickly. Ah! This is blocking the way. Maybe I can move really around. If I can get back to a home tile, I can get here in winter. Oh, so close! <laughs> Alright, so let me look around a bit in winter. Wow, I'm hungry. My stomach is making lots of sounds right now. Surprise! Okay, let's see. Maybe if I go up here... Oh, another shield. Ugh. Like, I know I can get to a home sign if I get back to where I started the quest. While I'm lagging to death, I don't know why. Oh, I can't get out this door. It's frozen. There's a, like a little block of ice on the way. <laughs> I might need a pickaxe to go that way. <laughs> will I make it to a level today? Time will tell. It's taking me forever just to get off Mount Dead End, so we'll see about that now. <laughs> I have a heart and a half, so I'm pretty much instant death to most of the higher enemies. Snow everywhere. And our most nights as well. <laughs> Which totally makes a lot of sense. Totally does not make any sense. Oh, wait. Can I, can I do this level now, technically? Yes, I could technically do this level now, but I'm not doing it now. Because, yeah. <laughs> Come back, it's the third level. Huh? And I can't go down the. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't go down here. No, I can't go down here. <laughs> Back to the cave, maybe find another path I can go out. Oh, go back out to the one I barely explored. Although, if I can get to the big obelisk, I can just change it to winter and then go to the home sign. And then work my way around from there. That's also another possibility. I just had to find my way over there! <laughs> Why did you have to make Mount Dead End so confusing? <laughs> Always confusing. Okay, let me go up here. <sighs> no, the lamp actually does the opposite of what you think. The lamp actually freezes stuff. Or that's what its supposed intention is. <laughs> yeah, it's an ice lamp. And I think you get that at that first level too, so... Yeah. So, it does ice theme stuff instead of before. Oh, I think I can push that when I get a better go. Okay, I'm gonna warp back to the entrance of this cave. I did ignore one exit. I should probably explore that now because it's like the only other thing I can, see. I can manage to find to do in winter. I need to figure out where that lens was because I know it was somewhere near the giant obelisk and I know it's like in an obviously weirdly hidden place. I mean, I can't use it, but it's good to have when I do find magic. But, yeah, at least Cast Chaos was consistent with his triggers in this quest. 
He was very consistent, which I have to thank him for, because... Yeah. The same kind of trigger, he uses the same item. Pretty much, mostly. Arr, can't go that way. But yeah, I can go that way, I just have to get past the arm. No, you get away from me! Stop following me! Oh, hey, free money. Well, I guess I could try to work my way going back this way, I guess. No, big block of ice blocking the way. Of course. Heart, yay, and I'm at a split off point, so I'm gonna split the video here and be back in just a moment.